Huh. Uh, we have a dragon blooded which is also messing with fate. Um, I know, but I thought that was kind of the specialty. Anyway. Could be. Anyway. Okay, so. This person, uh, the ruby eyed killer. Now. I I'm starting to compile a list of things he's done. Cool. Right? Which is. Okay, yes, um, you can indeed, yes, he uh, started an uprising here, he uh, he killed a god that, defended, that demanded um, life sacrifices here, actually he beat him into submission and made him swear not to do that again, it's a mix, he killed lots and lots of children, and women, and mothers, and he's been all around psychotic almost. Except at a certain point in time, which I'll be a little bit vague about, <laughs> and then he suddenly just left the East. He just left it immediately and went straight for Chao School. Now, the women and children that he killed, what were their destinies? Um, like, well, I'll just be generally. Keep, uh, generally, not very. Uh, some of them would have exalted, some of them would just lead mundane lives. The uh, depiction, the common thread, though, is that they all had the same father. Yep. Yep. Which okay. confirms what Mc McMcQuarrie and McQuarrie hears her saying that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. But McQuarrie also looks slightly confused. <laughs> and that will take up a few hours. By this, all this, it's a little too much information for her. It's now one o'clock. One hour past midnight. And they still haven't tested her, her, her scars yet. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. I think that Mikiri will be a little bit bored by now. Mikiri's like, okay, I I'm just, uh, this is all very interesting, but I'm getting the feeling this is getting us nowhere because you're learning more about his past and we're learning nothing about where he is now. And at that point, Galen's actually going to snap out of it and she's going to turn to Makiri and she says this is all stuff you didn't know about the Rupiag killer I know but the, listen very carefully <laughs> the Rupiag killer is hunting down children of your father yes that was my theory the Rupiag killer is also uh, the only thing he's doing is, that is outside of being a person who is for the greater good is hunting down children of your father and his past wife, uh, the women that fought, mothered those children. Luckily, your mother is still alive, so why did he suddenly just not end the bloodline there? That's, yeah, hmm. And that is, was also the moment that he made a beeline for Chao Skuro. No, he made a beeline for Chao Skuro probably after yeah he claimed his last victim in Lokshai. Mm hmm. Yeah. But we're hot on his track. But but Mikri says then okay, with all the things you've learned now, can you like you now use my Together with my scars to learn where he is now. And because I can look at someone's history up until the point of the present, if they're exalted, I might be able to divine that. Right. Yes, indeed. Rome lore test, the last one, before I start asking you for uh, fort fortitude save, so say. Uh, okay. Uh, might test to stay awake. My test to stay awake. Yes. <laughs> or was it only been oh, wait, up for like yeah. four hours? Yeah, well. Your fire blooded may need her beauty sleep. No, uh, roll me a lore test. Come on, give me good rolls, baby. Uh, That's no good. Hold on. Can I help? You know what? Hey, 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 hey. Can I help uh, Gailen with my aspect? Of wanting to bring the Ruby Eyed Killer to justice? 
Uh, and mm. with, uh, in combination with that, to predict and prevent all wars because something could. Uh, this Ruby Eyed Killer has. Bingo! You've nailed it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so you don't need my aspect of wanting to bring the nope. Ruby Eyed Killer to justice. Nope. Now. Okay. Which also prevents a little bit of uh, rules looking up and such. Okay, mm. you may re-roll it. I thought I finally would be or... able to use that aspect for something. <laughs> oh, you... come on. Can I give her a bonus if I use a fate point? Something. You now have a plus three. That will be a uh, good, a uh... good result. Okay. You still have one fate point left. <laughs> I'd keep it. I have a you. fate point, or she does. Uh, you have one. F okay. I haven't used uh, anything yet. That's why I want to help exactly. you. Okay. You have no idea what they're doing. It's astrology. It's way out of your. I know, but that's why I'm asking. Can't I help somehow because of that aspect? Um. Because my fate is strongly her. intertwined with that of the Rubyite Killer or something. Some something like you that. could try to do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. If her fate's intertwined, <laughs> that means that the stars would be connected somehow. And using that connection, I mm -hmm. could bridge the gap between their locations and get a general radius of where the Rubyite Killer could be. Hmm. Yep, that that's actually sound logic. You can so do that. Do um, I need to spend do a fate I get point? Any bonuses with that? Yes, now Mikiri can spend a fate point okay. for you. Okay. And how many bonuses do I get with that? Uh, well, what do you want? A reroll or a plus two? You know what? If I go for the plus two, it's going to be a hmm. great roll, which is what's been getting me all the information I need, so I'm just going to take that plus two. Yeah. Good. Okay, let me look that up. Mm, let's see, you have... Ah, yes, you have... You figure out that... Um, that will be a real dick move. Oh no, he's preparing a dick move. But do it anyway, do it anyway. I want the. I, I want to see this. He's I just right wanna... behind you. Oh no, you're dead. <laughs> that would be a big <laughs> move. <laughs> ah, yes. Now I know. Oh, that's excellent. He is in chiaroscuro. Yeah, we knew that. Courting a someone with a mighty destiny. A destiny as mighty as his own. Wait, and, but the problem is. Oh, and their, and uh, the weight of their combined destinies is pulling Chiaroscuro, uh, is pulling the entirety of Chiaroscuro towards war. So he's trying to woo somebody, somebody who's very influ influential. Okay, we can work with that. And now... I I know I'm going to probably be pushing it, and I'm gonna to have to roll something. But somebody very influential. Is it the one? This roll is going straight off of her lesser hero of all creation and predicting and preventing all wars. Mm. She wants to prevent this war. She wants to stop it. And being a lesser hero of all creation, she is going to stop it. So okay. She's what do you do? She wants to know who this other one with the mighty destiny is. Who's also an mm. exalted, obviously. She I would think it's somebody we haven't met pull? yet, because... You, she would be able you'd... to feel the pull. Uh, yes, indeed. Let me see. You Okay, you spent your last hero fate point for that information. I'll rule that as a edit, uh, edit scene little bit and you get the information um, <laughs> where are you ah yes his name his name is unfettered uh, unfettered uh, uh, ascending onyx that's not a name that is a name <laughs> fettered ascending onyx wait a minute so the ruby eyed killer is a guy 
And yes. this guy is a guy. Yes. Galen's gonna grin. So, the ruby I... Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. That gives me another idea. What? And she goes <laughs> off. Uh, she goes off of on a tangent. The ruby-eyed killer is in love with someone named a Unfettered Ascending Onyx. I thought that was oh, ruby-eyed killer's her. name. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, that wasn't the ruby-eyed killer's name, was it? Nope. Okay. Oh. Unfettered Ascending Onyx is the person of power in Charoscuro. Whose destiny is intertwined with the Ruby Eyed Killer. I've the Ruby Eyed Killer is wooing before. this person. But that brings me to something else. The Ruby Eyed Killer could be going after the past lovers and children of your father because maybe your father and he were once lovers. Maybe he's like, and he's a scorned uh... lover. Are you saying that Unfettered Ascending Onyx might be my dad? I don't know. I can't tell that. That doesn't sound like like a realm but, name. No, 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 but... It isn't. Exactly. Your sounds father like name of might a have been... or something. Listen, your father might have been a lover of the Ruby Eyed Killer in the past... And because <laughs> like, he huh? left the Ruby Eyed Killer, I've... the Ruby Eyed Killer went after his other love or his female lovers and his children to get back at him. We have no idea where your father is right now. I find this but... hard to believe. <laughs> oh, sure. I'm just I'm going off of what the stars are telling me, and that's where they the might be pushing. Stars are insane. Oh, the stars get even more insane. <laughs> they also warn that there is a third weight in Chaoscuro, also without any de manifest destiny. And it is inevitable that it will meet uh, the Rubyite killer. And once it does, Chaoscuro will fall. And she says this aloud. Mikri is like thinking. He'd meet my father, and the two would start fighting, and. and, and a lot of fe a no. lot of destruction would be caused. Um, no, this destiny, okay. the, the destiny that you find, is two thousand years old. Oh. And eventually, you, the, the stars go. Um, we're not going to answer you anymore because um, we're not. So, this other person is either a god of some sort, or maybe. Uh, a fey or, or or another exalt of some sort? I don't know, but the stars are no longer telling me any. I have pulled everything I can. I have pulled every trick out of my book. I've gained... Okay. I've used mm -hmm. all the favors I've gained from the point, stars. At this point, Mikri looks Indeed. very I tired am. and very confused. And, if, and even then the stars go, huh, we're not going to tell you anymore. No, 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 no. Okay. We're not going to tell you anymore. Mikri's like, unfettered ascending onyx. I'm going to go back to the ship and I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell my commander about this and he'll probably send some scouts out to look for whoever this person is. Good, because as much as I would love to help you, my sweet... There is nothing more the stars will give me. They are... I have used every favor I have with them. Okay. Make so, like every favor. G slowly getting up. Okay. Well, thanks for uh, what you've done. We're going to uh, put this information to good use. But for now, I, said I need to head off the bed because I have a mission tomorrow morning. We're actually going to go to the Undercity to do some um, treasure hunting. Want to come with? She looks to the stars and she says, you're not giving me anything else tonight, are you? <laughs> Mikri's mm -hmm. like, come on, but we've gone on for, for long enough and we now know about this unfettered ascending onyx person. Was it a man or a woman? I already forgot. Man. A man. A man. And okay. she says, hold on, Mikiri, I'm, I'm conversing with my friends. Give me just a moment. And she looks up at the stars and she actually asks them. Are you going to give me anything else? Not on this, but on another subject I've been... I want to study for the yes, moment. Yes, sure. Not a problem. 
Go away, we're tired. Okay. This, this <laughs> 2000 year old weight that they're not going to tell you much about. Excellent. Then, my friends, I will be here for a little while longer. She looks at Makiri and she says, I will be there and I will help you with this search. But you, okay. then you also need to get some rest because we're leaving early in the morning. Oh, stop, yes, stop I, I know. The stars. And <laughs> I will be getting some rest very soon. She's not going to get any rest, is she? <laughs> no. You, great curse. No. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kylie, we need your powers to freeze that lake and molten lava! And she's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, I'm so going to compel that. No, because she's only been awake for like five hours. If that. Yeah, but... Four hours. But I think our trip in the Undercity is going to take a lot longer than that, and she's going to get tired eventually, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys are getting up at the crack of dawn, which is going to be somewhere around seven, 6 or 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. which will Five mean she's six. only been up for about... So, yeah. which will mean she's only been up for about 8 hours, maybe 9. Mm -hmm. Indeed. An average person, human, can stay up for 12 hours with uh, before getting... Actually, technically, 16 hours before yeah, getting yeah, tired. Yeah, yeah, but you're tiring yourself out with using all those fate points and whatnot. But I'm exalted. Anyway, uh, Mikri's like, uh, uh, yes, but uh, anyway, I need to get going because I want to get at least four hours of sleep. Then go you it. go on, my dear. I have divined everything I can about the ruby eyed killer for you. I hope it was helpful. Okay, I'm definitely in your debt, so uh, if you want to have a good time sometime, <laughs> give me a call. Even though hey. she's not your type. No. And I, I look no. at Makiri and I say, you know, I, I would call in that favor for that, but I think I have something better for that favor. I will save it. But thank you very okay. much for the offer. Okay, then I'll see. Well, best best of you. We know what. Uh, we'll come to pick you up. That would be very, very helpful. Thank you. Okay. Uh, yeah, she... She's going to keep calling her Lady Ladal until she says otherwise. Oh, well, then, uh, Lady Ladal, then we will see you in the morning. And oh. I will see you in the morning, my fiery-blooded lady. <laughs> Mikri bows, then gets up, <laughs> gives mm. her a wink and a grin, and walks off. All right, and she does a little finger wag at her with the wink as well. <clears throat> yes. She's not her type, but that won't stop Mikri from flirting her with her anyway. Because okay. <laughs> that's how Mikri is. And Galen is just okay. a sweetheart. She tries to be helpful as much as she can. And cool. mm, clear. Now let's Move see. On. Let's go to the people who have, who are not engrossed in esoteric uh, practices. Let's see what. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've seen on Skype that Dries. That uh, Shayela Dynaf wants to train the troops of uh, uh, Mafika to help out. What does Mafika think of that as a lowly Nitai uh, claims the role of Chuzai? Let's see if they're around. And, and insult indeed the Lukshine uh, uh, traditions of training. <laughs> These troops have been highly trained, not counting the new ones we picked up recently. Those might still need some extra training. Sayala looks at him and says, what a poor stance. <laughs> <laughs> On the new guys or the veterans? The new guys. Ah, good. Now, do we have a Nico, or is he... Ah, pity. Mm. Where'd he go? All right. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the um, other guys have military and discipline and stuff. Yes, okay, but um, the <clears throat> your um, let's see. I think it's time for Dries to roll a presence test and see how well he does at uh, usurp at uh, at usurping a position of power. All right. 
and Dow really quick in Skype. That's what yeah. she's going to be doing sure. while you have everybody else do their thing. I got to be right back. I'll go to the bathroom. Sure, sure. You no need to roll for that. Wow. Never. Heard. Yep. Huh. Since my presence is zero. <laughs> Huh, I thought it was higher than that. No, we have yeah, to tell the commander too. about this. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. indeed. You're. Oh, yeah. They're. They're going to do. They're, they're going to. Well, they need to be convinced that so what you're teaching them is actually helping them, and you do so, I presume. Mm-hmm. Okay. They go. Hey, this actually works. Thanks, man. Thanks, lady. And they just practice with it and. Um, and you do totally notice that they're treating you as uh, one of the soldiers. <laughs> After all, you are a Nitai. Just <laughs> like them. Now I'll show you how to use weapons. I take an empty crate and I slice it up into pieces. Now you guys do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> hmm? So you train with the boys, as it were. Mm -hmm. Okay, you... Um, Help out in uh, giving the uh, the new guys some uh, extra tra training on the extra training. And to be fair to them, they're um, not used to infantry fighting. You notice uh, quite quickly. Well, some of them are used to uh, back alley stabbings, but uh, yeah, there are a couple of guys, a couple of groups. One of the groups is uh, used to back alley stabbings and dirty street fighting and all that. And the other group is just not used to fighting on their feet. They're just going, nah, it's if you need to. Okay. Okay, then, then do after me. Put your foot foot like this. Mm -hmm. Left foot front, right foot back, and then start swinging. Ha oh, oh, ha. Oh, oh. Okay. Put your left foot in, you put, put your, your right, right foot in. out. <laughs> and, and anyway, yes, you mm -hmm. give them the uh, the old traditional martial arts training because I recognize the stance. No, it's actually sword training. Ah, it's the same thing, actually. Sword pl uh, use of a sword is called martial arts. Okay, that mm -hmm. also. And the there's a lot of arts. there's a lot of overlap. But anyway, um, the most interesting and well, you train them. Do you wish to do something very commonsensical to help out the group? After all, you are going planning to go into the Underdark. Uh, nothing springs to my mind right now. And what if I told you that the old prospector's house was filled to the brim with candles and lamps and oil barrels? That goes without saying, I think, that we bring illumination. It does not. I mean, you want a dungeon crawl, you're getting one. <laughs> we need lamps and oil. And <laughs> so, is there anything... But you won't need any flint and steel because you have a walking lighter with you. Yes. A charming lighter, even. Yes. Let's see. Uh, oh, I need to do that. Anyway, so does Trayella has the good sense to check up on, you know, what equipment yep. you're taking to uh, down below. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. you, what mm -hmm. do you want to get for the group? I'm going to get. Stuff. Stuff. Don't do exploring stuff. Fully. Sorry. Okay, cool. One second. What kind of light source do you want to bring along? Flashlight. Then you need a solar. They have a flashlight. They are well, flashlights. Let's, let's go with the basics. Some torches. What do we need? We've got Mikiri. She can just light it up. Hey, Nico's back. Hey, welcome back, Nico. Sorry. I was uh, hear you. getting something to eat. Yeah, but, Ooh, but yeah. try leaving a message next time before you leave, okay? Yeah, I thought I would wouldn't I didn't want to interrupt the roleplay. Oh just put it in the sky. Yeah, put it in put it in chat. Alright. 
I'll do that next time. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, well, you you two can do something really. You can actually do something important, namely prepare for the expedition down down below. How do you want to prepare? Uh, well, like Tree said, torches. Uh, maybe a bit of maybe some form of rations. Rope. Yeah, rope. Ooh, that's a good one. Rope. Stuff like that. All right, that's excellent. So you're <clears throat> not going to check if you can find out what the place is like? Hmm. Maybe you could send like a scout or something to <laughs> He never returns. No, wait, actually no, because the because the instructions are so cryptic. I'm going to say no. You sure? Mhm. Mm it sounds like a good idea. Yeah, it does. Ah, come on. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Uh, send a scout towards the uh, dingy location. Yeah. Yep. Do you give him the map? Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the instructions: if you see someone, uh, someone threatening retreat, do not engage. Okay, you give him that, and oh, I did not give them skills yet. Okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da, they're going to do that. Uh, let's see. There. Yes, Ayala is training your tra He's training your lesser troops. <laughs> yeah, the new guys. Well, actually, she's training with them. They're not accepting her authority. After all, she is a Nitai. And I'm guessing that's not very high. <laughs> it's a. There are also Nitai. Oh. <laughs> some of them actually out. Some of the models actually outrank her because they are Chusai. Not all Chusai, <laughs> but still. <laughs> oh boy. Mhm. Mm okay, that's an interesting roll. Let me roll that again to see if that. Ah, okay. Uh. Two soldiers. You sent a few. You sent one scout or a few. Uh, two. No, three. Okay. Um, two of them return. Hmm. Luckily, they bring the map, but they're pale. Oh boy. Yeah, one of them uh, at where she's in there. I said, "Sir, reporting back from scouting. It's dark down there. Very dark." Matheka nods, understandably. And small and cramped, and there are crits all over the place that try to eat my eyeballs out! Hmm. And the other one goes, It was perfectly fine, sir. It was perfectly fine, sir. Is he you sitting in a fetus position? About. <laughs> well, soldier number one is uh, putting his uh, hands over his eyes and going, No! No! Not my eyes! Huh? And he's running away and of course they runs into the mass of the ship. And the other man goes, everything is fine, sir. They sound traumatized. Uh, yeah, Matheka frowns. Very much so. Let's not to the point make any mortals go down there. That's obvious. Yeah. Yeah, let's say... Um, well, Matheka, of course... Commend them on their excellent, excellent job. It was an honor. And then he uh, just simply smiles at them and goes, You have earned your well placed rest. I want you to take your friend. My eyes! Go, my eyes! Save my eyes! And try to calm him down and relax. Nico? Yes? Uh, some advice. Half, uh, who's your second in command again? That's a girl. That was, that was Hanako, but I okay. believe she had to be cut during the transition from... Mm -hmm. But yes, you have a second in command. Have, have Hanako properly, properly debrief them in the morning while we're off on the mission. And by debrief, <coughs> uh, I just mean 
to have them talk to her and just explain everything that's happened. It's very therapeutic to just be able to talk about it. Yes. Yes, right. very good point. But you, okay, Jay, oh, debriefing. Work. Actually, Hanako needs to play a psychologist, but debrief. Yeah. <laughs> it's a military thing, indeed. And yes, shall we? With that, will give me some interesting options to play with. Hmm. Thank you for that. And I suggest we break for dinner here, right. ish. I have. I, have, have a, I like. I'd like that. And have a bit of food and water and drink and tea and booze and women. <laughs> Not tea in this. We're gonna find those. Have... <laughs> well, to be fair, the store, my Ooh. store, is 15 minutes away. They have women there. No, but they have food. <laughs> That's what I was talking I about. <laughs> Maybe the clerk is a she, but... Mm -hmm. I actually have a bottle of rum that I've opened. Right. Oh, ooh, that sounds like uh, fun. So, now. you've heard it, dear listeners. We're gonna, we're gonna take our break uh, here. So, uh, we'll see you all after the interlude. And we're totally not getting wasted. Oh, totally yeah. not. No, no, no. And the best part about the break for you guys is, it, for us, it's an hour long. For you, it's about five seconds. Yeah, good point. <laughs> exactly. You so yeah, guys, see you in a bit. Now. 